Introduction 2, Objects in the Environment, and Their Geometrical Attributes. Meet our little explorers, Ben, Bella, and their friend, Webby. This little explorer team, decides to spend their vacation, by traveling to some exciting places, and learning new things. Come let's enjoy the trip, with our little explorers, and learn new things, with them. I am super excited about this trip, Ben. I can't wait to visit, all the beautiful places in the hills. Yeah, that cool climate. Frozen snow. Big mountains. I am virtually visiting those places, in my head, already. Ben, Bella, we are getting late. Are you done packing? There is no place left, in my backpack. But, yet, there is a lot more to be packed Webby. Look at this. Same here, my backpack is jammed. I kept just two balls, and a few things inside, that's it. How can a ball, occupy that much space? Every object, occupies some space, in the environment. Air has no shape, but when inside a ball, it takes the shape of the ball, and its space. What is all this, space, objects, you are talking about, Webby? You, and I, occupy some space, likewise, the objects, will occupy some space. These objects will be of various shapes. Cool, can you explain about it? Alright, off we go. Let me teach you some objects, in the environment, and their geometrical attributes. Objects in the environment, and their geometrical attributes. Bella and Webby, look there, it's a fish tank. How lovely it is. Yeah. Look here at the multicolored lights. How awesome it is. Wow. That's very beautiful. Yes, beautiful. There are different geometric shapes in our environment too. Geometric shapes? Yes, any object with a fixed structure can be considered a geometric shape. These shapes are made up of lines, curves, angles, and surfaces. Well, this tree over here is a closed geometric shape. Closed geometric shape? In geometry, when an object or a shape is connected with both ends, it is considered a closed geometric shape. What about this arch? This is an open geometric shape. When an object or shape is not connected at both ends, it is an open geometric shape. Geometric shapes are everywhere. No matter where you look, almost everything is made up of two-dimensional and three-dimensional geometric shapes. What are two-dimensional and three-dimensional geometric shapes? Two-dimensional shapes are flat figures with length and height, but no width. I didn't get it, Webby. If I draw this name board, this has only length and height, there is no width. So, what shape is this? It is a rectangle. Webby, then, if we draw this board shape. This is a square. Oh. We never knew this before Webby. It's very interesting, to learn new things. Webby, I wonder, what shape is this traffic signboard? This is a triangle. Hey guys, there is a car over there. What shape is the wheel of the car? It is circular in shape. Webby, the fish tank we have seen is rectangular, right? Yes, the faces are rectangles, but as a whole, it is a three-dimensional object. Three-dimensional object? Yes, unlike two-dimensional shapes, three-dimensional shapes have width, height, and length. The fish tank is in a cuboid shape. Can you say, a few three-dimensional objects, that we use in our day-to-day -day life? You must have played Ludo with your friends. The shape of its die, is a cube. Cold drinks cans, have the shape of a cylinder. Ice cream cones, have the shape of a cone. And the football, has the shape of a sphere. Bella and Ben, can you now recall, what we have learnt? Summary Today, we learnt that, there are different geometric shapes. When an object, or a shape, is connected at both ends, it is considered, a closed geometric shape. 
When an object, or shape, is not connected at both ends, it is an open geometric shape. Also, two-dimensional shapes, are flat figures, with length and height, but no width. Unlike two-dimensional shapes, three-dimensional shapes, have width, height, and length. Conclusion Awesome! Very good! Keep it up! Thank you so much, Webby, for teaching us the geometric attributes of objects around us. Welcome! Okay guys! Walk fast, it's getting late! Let's go to the hill station, and enjoy the snowflakes!